Oh, hella beat, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button so you can come back to rock with your boy. So listen up, man. I am excited to share with you today's fragrance review because I've been anticipating this fragrance to come in for quite some time now. In fact, I originally heard about this fragrance back in April, but it was on the hush hush. So today, I get to share it with you now i've had the fragrance in my collection for i don't know about a month or so at this point so i feel that i'm entitled to speak on it the fragrance that i'm talking about comes from the house of byron parfums and this is a part of the rouge extreme lineup and this one is the chronic rouge extreme now listen we all heard of some of the big standout fragrances from the house of byron obviously mula mula is a standout fragrance we saw mula mula rouge extreme you saw dragons 2.0 you saw pirates 2.0 and now we're talking about the chronic rouge extreme now the chronic rouge extreme as you could imagine is a flanker of well the chronic now here is the chronic in its original presentation and listen if you are into just hearing the name itself you would think that this fragrance is you know medicinal okay it has some herbal qualities to it and it's not that at all all right and the same thing continues on when we look at the rouge extreme version of the chronic now when it comes down to the presentation there is a glaring difference between what we saw here which was also an updated presentation for what they originally came out with to what we see here in uh the chronic now there's also mula 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 has changed to a blue bottle in this presentation you got this gold cap you have the uh the name of the fragrance kind of embossed inside the bottle here and you also have uh engraved in the bottle the, the logo of the company now what i'll tell you is the presentation in terms of the packaging is vastly different than what we saw and, and unfortunately i don't have the presentation anymore but it comes in you know this white box but outside of it there's a sleeve now what i'll tell you is I found the sleeve quite difficult to take off of the box which i think is good the major fragrances aren't going anywhere but it was a little uh, difficult to get off but enough about that, let's get back down to this. All right, now, when you see something like this, one of the things that I really enjoy about Byron is the quality. And they put it there in the presentation, um, they put it there in the smell, and obviously when we talk about it, look at the district. That uh, pressurized itemizer is amazing. Now for the notes of the Chronic Rouge Extreme, you have some of the usual suspects that come down to the Chronic, and you also have those Rouge notes or some of those red notes as well. In the top of the Chronic Rouge Extreme, you get whipped cream, you get melon, you get pear, and you also get raspberry. In the mid of this fragrance, you get some spicy notes in addition to amber and cinnamon. And finally, in the base of this fragrance, you get some sandalwood, you get some patchouli, and you also get some white musk but what do we get with this fragrance now what i'll tell you is something that i liked about the chronic originally is i think just from me listening to the name or understanding what the name is versus what the fragrance actually was you got something that was sweet um it had this really nice feel to it that i found was sensual in a way but um inviting in in, in a way as well and this fragrance has that but it's also um a little less sweet than the get in the original chronic but it's also a little more fruity and let me explain the original chronic is like this sweet bomb very similar to what you would expect in terms of sweetness with mula mula now mula mula is a sweet fragrance i personally enjoy and i know many of you out there do as well and listen i think if you enjoy the sweetness in mula mula and the chronic you are going to enjoy this one as well now as i mentioned some of those fruity notes kind of pop up a little bit more here um, and come off just as something that i find to be very pleasing on first spray of the chronic i get something that is really succulent there think about those notes there that whipped cream is something that provides this a slightly creamy feel to it not overwhelming but there's more so there for that sweetness right but that melon provides some freshness that raspberry and pear combined together is just 
magnificent. That pear utilizing this fragrance, in addition to that raspberry, come together as such a unique blend and it's something that I think a lot of you out there will really, really enjoy once you get your nose on it. Um, I think some this varies from the original in, in a way, but it still has some subtle nuances and tie backs to what you could expect there. The tie back really comes when it gets down to the mid of the scent, simply because some of those top notes in the chronic are actually now in the mid as it comes down to the Rouge Extreme version. So that cinnamon was um, that you found in the top of the chronic is now in the mid here and that's kind of where that fragrance begins to shift a bit and you get those subtle nuances and tie backs to the original. Now again overall I think that this fragrance really provides this succulent seductive fragrance that's really would work in a lot of date night close encounter situations this is one of those fragrances that you can spray on and feel confident to get those compliments all in all i think this one is going to be a very enjoyable scent to you tie back to the original takes on a life of its own and then top and then the dry down is very pleasurable as well again it has a seductive intoxicating really intriguing feel to it that i think will be enjoyed by the masses. Now, when it gets down to the performance on this thing, really Byron, it has been no slouch when it comes down to performance, and this one isn't any different, all right? When it comes down to longevity on this fragrance, I'm getting eight to 10 hours, and I think that is great, especially with the scent profile when it comes down to this fragrance. Also, um, when you think of projection, right? Is it wafting off of the skin? And it does do that. Now, what I will say is that I find that the projection is a little bit better in the original chronic and that could be from the nature of how the fragrances uh, were the top notes etc but the projection jumps off the skin for a little bit longer on the original um, but this fragrance is really really good in its own right if you're looking to try something different from the house of byron that has that same uh, something that he does really well in my personal opinion is that a uh, fresh sweetness that really can work on a unisex feel. I think that also the Chronic Rouge Extreme is a little more unisex than the original. That's just my personal thoughts and opinions on that and does not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the masses. So there you have it, man. This is one of those fragrances that for 2021, I would urge you to get your nose on, try it, um, see if you like it. And this is probably one of those ones for me would be a solid blind buy. If I blind bought this one, I would be happy that I got it, all right? 75 ml is what the presentation is on this. I'll leave everything linked and listed down below for you in terms of places you can pick this thing up. But um, listen, man, I'm super excited to have this one in the collection. And be sure to try out everything from the house of Byron because um, I think he does really well, all right? Uh, Jan is his name, though. But I think he does really well, man. Byron Parfums, for sure. Standout fragrances and a standout price, all right? Good quality on this one as well, but I digress. So there you have it. As always, I'm your boy, Big Beard Beard. If you hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn bell.